Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play My Time at Porsche. So I'm just about to sweep here to 827. And relation with Bubble has changed from stranger to... What was that? Adversary? I'm not sure what it actually said to be honest, but uh, that was weird. Uh, so oh yeah, we were working on this before. And I think we're getting close to it. So we needed to make two grinding saws, which we might not be close to it. <laughs> When I realize I need two of those, it's like, eh, it might not be close. Okay, resin, iron, and bloodstone. So bloodstone, I got, I went out and got some bloodstone. Got a bunch of these as well. Awesome. And uh, so we got the bloodstone, and then you needed the resin, this type of resin, I believe. And then you needed iron. Which we should still have some in here. Yep. And that should make us two saw blades, do we need? Just double check that. Uh, yeah. And then we need carbon, uh, okay, yeah, and simple circuits for, and uh, I went back to the place that we went to. I didn't kind of go ahead, I just did the first level and a bit of the second level. I didn't want to spoil it and go to the boss or even see the boss, so I just did a bit just to uh, you know, get enough to uh, get some more simple circuits because we didn't have quite enough, so uh, we did that. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and make two of these saws. Two saws. And then we can place these in here. And then uh, we need to take 10 of these. And then we need to simple circuits. So it's like, huh, there was something else. I'm a little worried if this is not gonna work. Hopefully it will, but I hope this is not gonna require like a type of power because we haven't had a type of power yet, right? So I'm like, eh, we'll find out I guess in the long run, of course, but uh, Bad trees. Okay, let's try this right here. I want to see, yeah, I want to see that. So let's put it there. Please be able to power it with the, oh, power stones. Good, good, good. I was a little worried about that, so I'm glad we don't have to worry about it. Uh, so, my power stones. We'll go fill you guys up here. wonder how many, three days, 18 hours. Awesome. Okay, so we need to make the, uh, for the recipe, do you guys remember what it was? It was, uh, hmm, I, I think we needed like four or eight or ten or a million. Let, let me go back to the assembly here. So what we were building was the lift. Oh, it says right there actually. Uh, collect materials, hardwood plank, ten. Uh, so hardwood plank would be these guys. So let's, let's do that. Uh, ten. I'll put you here and then uh, might as well get rid of some of this extra stuff here to be honest like the bloodstone you guys for now get rid of the extra wood products here the sapling probably the circuits as well you yeah, have been putting them in there anyways uh, okay you're yeah, just getting a little cleaned up here Okay, so we got that, and uh, oh yeah, you need uh, how many of these again? It was like four of them or six of them. I think it was six, so we can we can put one of them away. Pretty sure. And I forget what this other one was. Oh, a string. Here you go. Okay. So we got that. We got car six carbon steel then, and then we need uh, iron wood planks. Okay, that's what it was. We've never done iron wood planks ever, of course. Uh, so that was the first time. This is the first time making them. Which we'll do. And I'm going to move the machines around. So that's kind of why I left those. Ironwood planks. Oh, it requires mucus as well. Interesting. Finally a use for that. I'm assuming the mucus is... You're probably wondering, like, why would you need mucus? Like, that doesn't make sense. It's kind of beyond bizarre, blah, blah, blah. Besides being mucus, the gross part of it. Uh, I have the feeling the reason you do this is because of the ability. This is a nice saw. So how long does it take to do a bronze plate? One hour, blah, blah, blah. One hour, 12 minutes. Let's see, one hour and 12 minutes. I'm just going to look at the time on the other one just for fun. But there you go. 20 hours. Uh, one hour and 12 minutes, huh? How much is you? Oh, okay. Slight, slight difference. Not, a, not actually a huge, huge difference. But uh, we're going to go and cut these. I know we're going to lose the times on these. But I want to... I want to move these around, so...
There you go. There you go. We're, we're basically opening up and giving us a little more room to work. Uh, and finally getting rid of these as well. These have to go. They've needed to go for a little while now, so I'm happy to finally be able to do it. There you go. And, uh, yeah, we'll get move these first. Oh, where do we want these? Well, I don't know how far the house will go back, honestly, but uh, we'll put these over here for now, I guess. So, does it matter? I guess it doesn't, really, in the end. So that there. That there. That there. And that there. Awesome. And then we got the other one. Did I cut it down yet? No. That's over here. Oh, yeah, the big one. Basically, I wouldn't mind replacing all those with these ones eventually, but uh, for now. Now, it's up to you. You could always go like this, which is probably not a bad idea. You probably save more, you know. It's out a bit, but it saves a bit more room. There you go. It kind of makes sense doing that. Actually, I probably should have done it with these all. Maybe I'll do it with these two then. Because if you do it the other way, right, you're taking more space, but this will save you space, so. There you go. Now you're saving space. Does that mean these could have saved more space? I'm pretty sure these were the same size no matter which way you put them. Correct? Yeah, it didn't matter. Okay. Just wanted to double check. And then this guy, I guess we can get rid of him. This is for cooking, but it's not like I'm going to ever use it, but whatever. We'll put the cooking stuff over here. I don't want to put too close to the house, because if eventually when we extend the house, we want that room in there, so... What is this one again? Oh, the loom thing. Do they call it a loom? Oh, skewer. Okay, so this can go over here, but 3D-ish. And then we can put our loom. I'm calling it a loom. The leather, oh, didn't work. Our leather working meh, bopper. Uh, it's up to you where you want to put this. I don't want to put it too close to the building, of course, but uh, I also don't want to put too far either. But let's put it over here for now. There you go. Because the way that one looks, I'm going to keep it out and waste space on it. Here's the grindstone. Some of these kind of just don't look right on the side, you know. Oh well. We'll leave it like that for now. It's just for looks. And then we need to move those back. And then really it's moving chests, inventory, all that kind of stuff. And they can kind of sit more in the middle of the property, which is kind of nice, so. Okay, so, and you can move your house too, I think, too. Oh, no, you can't. I, th I was wondering if you could or not, because I was thinking maybe you could, because, like, you know, you can move this stuff, but I guess you can't. I mean, it kind of makes sense anyways. Uh, so we'll have this sitting here. Confirm, and then we'll move the assembly station as well back to the corner. Only makes sense. There you go. And confirm and that gives us the you know of course the more room in that area to work with and just opens up new doors and opportunities for us there we go look at all that room now I love it so is there uh, I thought we got a recipe for this so let's look do we have a lift Lift controls, there you go. Now, I didn't say build a lift controls, but should I? See, it's like kind of hard to tell, like, do you, do you not? You know, like, you don't know if you're supposed to or not. Maybe we should check what the uh, quest thing says. Uh... Oh, so this is to repair it, and a lift control system is the other quest. Okay. 
So it is needed. Uh, so let's get rid of the... We're going to do these, but uh, I'm going to do them smartly. Like, I'm going to do, like, one chest at a time, destroy it, you know, get all the stuff um, out of it at a time. So it's, like, kind of, you know, in an order. Orderly fashioned. Uh, so we got the hardwood, uh, carbon steel bars, ironwood planks, which we need five of them. We should have a couple done now. Two of five, okay. And then, uh, oh yeah, I wanted to sell these actually. It's almost night time here or whatever. But I wanted to sell these before the night or the day started. Whatever, you know what I mean. So let's run this. I just was trying to get, you know, clearing out my store, uh, stone storage again. So I want to get rid of this. Hey, buddy. Uh, you can take these guys. Give me 650. Thank you. And you can take the rest of them for me, please. Thank you. There you go. You know, all the excess stone, you get another, you know, 800 uh, gold for that. So it's worth getting rid of, of course. We don't have a lot right now. 3,300. Pinky. I tried feeding Pinky a shrimp. Do not feed Pinky shrimp. He does not like shrimp. You think a kitty cat would like shrimp, but he doesn't like shrimp. Oh, no. Sorry. It wasn't shrimp. It was lobster or whatever. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's because it's lobster, but I'm pretty sure most cats would die and devour a piece of lobster. So, yeah, I'm up and down on that, but whatever. He could be a kitty cat who's not into that, right? Okay, so that's done. And then, okay, so we need the simple circuits. I think two of them. So we'll get two of these and install them now. Uh, industrial engine we can get. We got, thankfully, oh no, that's these ones right here. We sold some, but thankfully uh, I had a feeling like whatever you make, you probably won't need 10 of them or anything like that, right? So, uh, an iron bar six. Oh, crap. See, I get worried about that because uh, we're kind of... Oh, we still have a bunch. Oop. I know we haven't been, uh, you know, upkeeping our iron and stuff like that. So I, I kind of worry on that kind of stuff. And there we go. So there's the lift controls. And then, honestly, what we have left is this, which isn't going to get done probably today. No. It'll probably hit nighttime before we, unfortunately, get a chance. So... This might be just a good opportunity for us to go and uh, just cut some trees down. I've done the stone recently, so stone itself is probably not worthwhile. So I'd say cut trees down, yeah. Let's use up some of our stamina. We also have to revisit the uh, water wheel stuff because it's been a while and I'm not quite sure what we need for that, and I'm sure whatever it was originally, we probably can do it at ease now, so. Nice chopping down all the trees. This is going to be a tree freeze zone. And then these ones, of course, these are the trees that you can't cut down. That one we might? Yeah. I know some trees you can't in this area. There you go. Like this one, I'm pretty sure you can't cut down. Yeah, it's just a kick. This one you can. Kick. If it's dark, like black almost, uh, well, very dark brown, I guess, uh, I find that you can't cut those trees down, so. There you 
go. There you go, my friends. I could call that a quit there. Well, it's not really a quit, but can't do any uh, thing else with it, so might as well go. Now, here's the question. Can I use this to get home? Probably not. I'm assuming it's way too late, but uh, I don't know exactly the time. You know, I don't think it's when business is closed. No, it's open, actually, so we can take that home. Not so bad after all, huh? And then we can go ahead and put away the wood. So, woodish, 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 woodish. Woodish, woodish. Who likes the woodish, woodish, woodish? Sorry. Probably should never ever try singing again, but. You know me, I'll probably do it again just so, no, yeah. Who let out the wood, wood, wood? Okay. You got you guys done, and then let's see here. Wait, what the? Oh, I was like, uh, there's nothing there, and then I realized I didn't. Was it looking the right side? This is this stuff. Yes, yeah, so I'm interested in this, so I kind of want to know if you can break that and move it, all that stuff, but I guess we'll have to wait the next day. Oh, yeah, we made that already. I'm like, uh, what? So we're literally waiting on the planks, which might be ready, to be honest. Well, almost ready, but okay. So we got uh, we're gonna shift click one off here, but we'll do it the next day, of course. Give it a fresh day, and then we'll go fix a lift. And I think this is the last day of the month, by the way. Interesting. So they've gotten mad at me because I haven't given the gifts or something. Maybe I don't know. Stranger, stranger, stranger. Stranger danger. I guess if you don't... Well, that's weird. I guess if you don't talk to them and stuff, they turn to adversaries. Higgins is nemesis. Weird. Oh, well. Interesting mechanic. Uh, okay, so we're going to go get the lift or do the lift. So uh, let's go over here and... Not like it's going to take us all the way there, but it'll help us get closer. Uh, so this is the closest, I guess, to it, ish. Okay. You think all the stuff I do for this town would get me oh, a little puppy still? You think it would get me, uh, you know, a little bit more uh, credit with these people, but apparently that doesn't count. So this will open up a new area. I don't know how big the area is, anything like that, but it's called the Highlands anyway, so... I believe it's called the Highlands. Uh, I think they might have said it there before, but uh, I was reading the patch notes. I wanted to see how fast the devs were with patches, and I found they're quite, quite fast with patches, which is awesome. So, Oh, there's uh, one of these here, too, so I'll have to build that later. Ta-da! Awesome. Okay, so fix the lift. There you go. And place the controls. There we go, my friends. Which probably also unlocks it so you can use it, period. And there we go. To a new place we've never been to. Woo! Oh, no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I have a feeling... Oh, talk to Alro. I have a feeling we're not allowed here yet. No. Okay, there's that. Oh, I'm so sad. I was so excited. Yeah, we need a lot of bronze type stuff, and I don't think we have enough bronze, and plus we need the fiber cover, so I'm definitely going to have to do some uh, mining and stuff like that. Actually, I'm thinking, hmm. 
should I mine on my way back? Probably. I feel like we might unlock it this episode, but I'd rather wait a day or so. Have a full episode of, you know, going there. But we won't probably get the, the cover and all that done in time, just because, uh... You have to remember, uh... The, uh... The next day is fall, and I want us to record for fall as well, so... The topaz and stuff is going to earn us some decent bank, by the way. I personally think it would. But then again, maybe going through those runes and all that loot we got, maybe that stuff sells for a lot. I haven't looked into some of that, like the circuits and stuff. But I do know that uh, these go for quite a bit. The uh, the bloodstones are not too bad. The, the topaz is really decent, so... I didn't know if you are going to hurt me, so I wanted to not take the chance. Oh, no. And of course, then the resin stuff goes for a decent amount too, right? Then you can make the uh, storage crates to sell off some of the excess wood, so. Okay, these are just tiny. Not really worth your time. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, yeah. Let's figure out what we're going to do here. Uh, so the guy we want to talk to is probably in town. Is that the mayor? No, that's the other guys, aren't they? Oh, the, okay, he's, the, he's part of the civil corp or whatever. I do like how the clock's real in the game. Gotta say, awesome job there, devs. So many games, you know, they have fake clocks. I like to see a real clock, like um, Stormwind, you know, the big clock in the tower, that's real, and I always like that. And it's just like, why can't more games do a real clock, you know? You put this fancy thing in and you can't grab the game time and just move a hand around. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard. I mean, the, even the animation work isn't really needed for... Uh, an animator, it can be all done. It's all dev, right? Just moving the hands. Here we go. Great work. Hopefully we'll be able to figure the green goose soon. There we go. So you gave me a lot of stuff and a lot of points. Which might, just might. I'm not saying it will, but might put us over the uh, thing to get into second or third place, sorry. Third place. I don't know if it will, but... It would be kind of cool. Oh, there's that traveler guy. He sells the engines for that and the diamond ring. Or not diamond ring. I don't know if it's an engagement ring. or Go to like one of the girls and give it to them. Watch they accept it right off the bat. It's like a bug or something. Let's see what we're on the rankings here. Oh yeah, we are in third place right now. So we get, you know, a topaz and <laughs> very little. It's just more for fun, right? Uh, spicy fish, three bat mass, three teen leather. Fiber cloth, damn. Person's so greedy. Okay. What we'll do is we'll hand this in, and then I'm going to see what happens if we try to move some chests. Uh, I'm curious about that. Oh, I need to make bronze, too. So I probably should grab copper, 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 tin. And then uh, we have a bunch of wood, but do we have all the right woods? Oh, no, we didn't do wood this time. That was last time. There we go. There we go. So we'll go refuel. And then we'll do bronze, craft 10, thank you. And then we'll refuel, bronze, craft 10, thank you. And then refuel, bronze 10, thank you. Refuel, 
And then bronze 10 once again. Thank you. Look, I'm such a good Canadian thanking them every time. There we go. And then we'll get rid of the excess amounts of ore type stuff here. And then we'll get rid of the stone stuff over here. And then... Oh good, we were just enough to get rid of it. And we'll need some wood for the next day to fill those up. But we'll get rid of you guys. And then we'll get rid of these guys here. So yeah, the topazes are really, like, they're worth a lot there, as you can see. So you got like, you know, like 3,000 gold there, probably. Uh, which is pretty good, of course. I think we have some meat here, even though we have it spread out. I'm interested in other things like this wrench. Oh, 5, 7, 20, 20, 120 for the copper coils. Interesting. 80 for the small silicone circuits. 100 for that. 240, 10, 15. Okay, so these, some of the newer parts that we were getting at that other place is not really worth that much. So, this is the sap, which you can't really... It's not really worth it, so I wanted to see what happens if I destroyed it. You pick it up. Awesome. I was hoping that was the case. That is the case. Uh, so what we're going to do here is, for example, we're going to go and create like a second storage. So we always have a buffer one on us. And so the idea is we can go ahead and put these wherever, but uh, basically I want to spread these out a bit more. Uh, so like we put this here, for example. And this can go in here. There you go. And then we can put the wood product one beside it. There you go. That's what I kind of wanted to do, right? So I can go like this. There you go. And wood products can go in this one. Or I wonder if I should... Ah, uh, no. We'll put it side by side. It just gives us a bit more flexibility, I guess. And I should really build a couple more of those, just because we're going to need them for uh, other things here. Oh, you put your wood... Oh, well, wood storage. Of course you would have put your wood in your wood storage. There you go. There you go. So, uh, yeah, so for example, stone here. There you go. I wanted to customize these, by the way. So, these are wood products. I'm going to make them green, for example. There you go. And then, um, what you can do for these guys is we can color these. Or, this is the stone products, but what I was thinking is they can be colored stone, of course. And then you can put your stone products in here how you want. So, you can put, like, sand in this one. Uh, the clawed stuff, more sand, and then like more of the stone stone ones. This can go in there, the nitrates can go in there, and then, oh, we got more here, down here. And then these guys can go in these ones, for example. And don't forget you can sort these easily with the uh, sort button too. But yeah, that, that kind of like changes things a little bit for us, which I like. Uh, this is our loot one. Let's see here. I guess we just keep loot as it is right now. And then, uh, how we want to do this? Loot was yellow or something like that. And then you just put your loot in here, of course. You get the idea. And tailoring will keep yellow. Or purple. I don't know why I said yellow when it was purple all this time and still purple. Oh no, we gotta redo this. I wanted the hinges to be just on the... There you go. And, uh, yeah. And then purple. Oh, there you go. Awesome. And this stuff, is this even, there's nothing in there anymore except the fishing rod, which is, eh. This is food, so we'll get rid of food now. 
Food is definitely going to be uh, something you got to get rid of. Oh. I think the way we were doing food is it's red. Now, do you want to mix it over here? Let's put food on this side, actually. There you go. There you go. And uh, we can put all the meat, for example, in one. And then we can put this stuff in here. And then what about, like, cooked meats? Uh, well, this is a meat. Uh, the rest isn't really cooked, really, right? But uh, her buckets aren't supposed to really go in there, by the way. I say we put the rest. I guess, yeah, I guess we could say egg is an ingredient, but it's it's not the raw meat either, right? So let's do that, I guess, and then we can put the rest away here. Just for now, anyways. I'm sure we'll have a better organization system eventually, but I do like this. And then customize these. We were making these all red instead, so there you go. Oops. And then I was thinking, uh, the ores. There you go. I was thinking of redoing these, how we've been doing them. So, uh, one, we should do two of them, first of all. Uh, you're bad, Kane. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I don't know what color to change these right now. Oh, here we go. We'll do the blue. Make some, like, fancy, right, color? And what I was thinking for these ones, we'll do like the raw ores like this. And then the next one is like more the processed kind of ones like these guys here. And then I probably will put plates and stuff in those eventually as well, right? Is this just empty? Okay, bad. Bad. There you go. And then the last thing is basically all these. You probably can get most of it in my inventory. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I guess it all went in my inventory. And these are more special. We'll give them like a dark blue color, I guess. There you go. So we'll give them uh, the dark blue. There you go. And these will hold, you know, the... The kind of uh, somewhat important stuff. I'm giving it the, the somewhat important name to it. But uh, you can put, for example, uh, let's put uh, this one as the, you know, this, 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 this. I guess kind of like those, like, simple consumable gem things. Uh, I've been putting these in, the discs in, and uh, these in, those in. The glass in there. I know that's process. It really shouldn't be going in there, but... That's how I've been doing it. These guys can go in there. But then it's like, hmm, do I put those in or not? I'm like, nah, probably not. And then everything else goes in the other one, I guess. Oh, that can go in this one. But then again, that should probably go into the process materials too, right? So it's kind of an iffy system I have, to be honest. I'd say it's not the best system, but we'll put them in there and then we can shuffle them around over time if we want. But uh, it gets us something anyways. There you go. There you go. So it gives us a little bit more organization. And everything's a bit more cleaner as well, so that's awesome. Here's that hardwood uh, plank stuff. And then, so if you're smart, you'd open no, the one beside it. There you go. So you get a little bit more space. Uh, it's more organized. The house can definitely be uh, expanded now. The only thing I haven't used is this thing. I probably won't use the farm stuff for a while. The farming isn't as exciting, I guess, yet for me. Maybe later on it'll become a bit more exciting. But so far, it hasn't actually been as wonderful. Oh, at first I thought when I clicked that there was nothing there. But like I said, maybe over time that'll change. So, Anyways, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.